whispers from the past. You knew it wouldn't. Yeah, I'm just here today just to chat about my grandfather on my dad's side, uh, William Gunther. He was born in 1892, and when he's two years old, he's actually a match boy. So he's just born into poverty. And then he went into the First World War. There he got gassed. That's kind of all we know about that situation. He never really talked about it. Went through into the Second World War. Uh, but it wasn't until he was the age of 96 we found out something else about him, which no one knew, not even his wife. Um, he used to, every week he used to go across the road to the shops to buy himself a bottle of brandy for the week. And one day he got run over. And he was rushed into hospital. They'd done a series of tests. And they scanned his head for any sort of head injuries and things like that. And they found shrapnel in his head. And when they asked him, he says, that happened in the First World War, but I didn't want to say anything to make a fuss at all. And that's, unfortunately, that's all I really know, apart from his bad smoking habits of pipes and things. Where I used to be a kid of about three years old, I suppose, he used to go around now. I um, mean, Nan would be sitting in her armchair smoking 60 woodbines. My grand would be smoking on a pipe and I was just below the smoky haze. So every time I looked up, I'd just see this big haze of stuff and a sort of budrigar in the sort of mist, which is quite ring. And a budrigar lived until it was 19 years old, which is I think, probably a record. I'm not sure if it's, you know, it's sort of died when it's about two and it's just <laughs> sort of preserved with all the fumes of the smoke and I wasn't sure really. Uh, that's unfortunate, that's all I know. If, if your brother was here, he'd be able to tell you a bit more. Because um, he's done the sort of family history and things, so I wish he was here now. <laughs>